and there a chance to see how close it was Radonova really trying to get back into contention at the end there so we move on now to the men's semi-finals that's the lineup for the first semi-final Fabio Carter Eric Beda there's Carter lying in third place fourth in the 500 meters second in the 1500 meters the European champion Dong Sung Kim for the Republic of Korea lying in equal fifth place was third in the 1500 meters there's Eric Beda Going in fourth place. And uh, Michael Antonioli from Italy. And ladies and gentlemen, we continue with the first semi final 1,000 meters for men. In this race, Fabio Carta from Italy, Eric Vedar of Canada, Dong Soon Kim, Republic of Korea, and Michael Antonioli lying in 16th place. Reached the semi finals in the 1500. So, two Italians, one Korean, and a Canadian in this first semi final. So away we go, and straight away it's Eric Bedard for Canada out in front with the European champion Fabio Carter in second place. Dong Sung Kim for the Republic of Korea in third. Antonioli for Italy at the back of the moment. So it's uh, the Korean now out in front, Dong Sung Kim leading. Beda for Canada having none of it, he's back out in front again. The two Italians just uh, biding the time at the back. Fabio Carter in third place. Eric Beda, as he has been for much of the championships, out in front. And uh, once more, Dong Sung Kim makes his move and uh, takes up the running. And down goes the Canadian, Eric Beda. Just lost his footing and Beda is out of it. So Dong Sun Kim leading now, Fabio Carter in second place, Michael Antonioli in third, Beda is out of it and bitterly disappointed, three laps to go now and the race is on, Dong Sun Kim leading for the Republic of Korea, Carter makes a move around the outside, not quick enough, Carter hanging on in there, it's going to be a battle for that second place, Carter makes a move one more time at the bell. Now Antonioli makes a move up the inside. The two Italians are working very, very hard now. Dong Sun Kim could be out of it. Kim back down in third place. It's going to be a real run for the line. And look at that brilliant race from the Italians. Fabio Carter getting his nose ahead round that final bend. A shake of the hands from the Italian team. Antonioli made his move with a couple of laps to go. And uh, they really left Dong Sun Kim with nowhere to go. He was down and out. Well, Carter really almost leaning on Dong Sung Kim around that corner, looking for a way through. Well, it really was a fantastic race. Fabio Carter there, finishing in second. But a brilliant, brilliant race. And uh, Antonioli for Italy. And his time is winning that one and that's uh, Eric Bernard there because he's just losing that outside edge on the left foot nowhere for him to go except into the boards so Carter through with Antonioli just about getting ready for the uh, last of the semi-finals so here we go Mark Gagnon the lineup Mark Gagnon for Canada Satoru Tureo for Japan Yi Huan for China and Nicola Francis China for Italy the uh, Italian so so good tremendous uh, team spirit in the Italian team there's Satoru Toreo 
from Japan, number 54. Torreo in seventh place, fourth in the 1500 meters, semi finalist in the 500. Mark Gagnon in the yellow and black, three times world champion, lying in equal first place here with uh, Kai Feng, who uh, hasn't made it through to the semi finals. Gagnon, the world record holder at this distance. He Huan for China in third place. Francis China for Italy. Flying in eighth place. Broke the world record in the 500 meters only to have it beaten again by Kai Feng in the finals. But remember, two skaters here make it through into the finals. So uh, Francis China bidding to uh, make it three Italians in the finals. Wouldn't that be something? He's at the back at the moment. And uh, really in this company with his back up against the wall. Mark Gagnon out in front with uh, Toreo for Japan now just uh, pushing out in front. So Toreo for Japan leading. Mark Gagnon in second place. China's Yi Huan in third, and Francis China for Italy in fourth at the moment. The pace holding up now. Still Toreo out in front. Gagnon looking for a way through on the inside, and he takes it. Gagnon. You don't need to show him much room. Two laps to go now. Gagnon leads Toreo for Japan in second place. The battle for that second place. Gagnon extending his lead now. Toreo still hanging on in second. Francis Cina looking for a way through. He's got a tight line up the inside, but it's going to be Toreo into the finals. So Mark Gagnon wins that one, making it look very, very easy indeed. So Toru Torao for Japan goes through with him. No place for Nicola Francis Cina for Italy with his teammates Fabio Carter and Michael Antonioli. And here we look at it again. You can see Francis Cina just looking for a way through. Try to get through on the inside. Toreo closed the door. Had to move to the outside of the track and uh, lost valuable time. So look at that again. Toreo out in front and Gagnon just nipping through inside. So it's Gagnon, Torao, Antonioli and Carter in the finals. Well, I said at the beginning of the program, it's going to be fast and furious. It certainly is. Short track speed skating is one of the most exciting sports you can see. And look at the margins here. Desperately close. Well, there's a, a few more people in the stadium today to uh, watch the final day, the climax of these World Short Track Speed Skating Championships. The uh, ice is being resurfaced in preparation for the finals. And uh, we've got the relays coming up as well, so... Uh, an awful lot of exciting speed skating coming up this afternoon and then the climax of course from the individuals the uh, 3,000 meters and if you haven't seen short track before there's uh, five points for a win three for second place two for third and one for fourth and uh, the points are accumulated throughout the champion welcome back you rejoin us live here in uh, Vienna. The ice uh, has been resurfaced in preparation for the finals of the men's and ladies 1,000 meters. That's uh, due in just over 10 minutes time. And uh, while we're waiting, we're going to look back at some of the action from the opening day of these championships and the semi-finals of the men's 1500 meters. That's the lineup in the first semi final. Noya Tamura from Japan. 
Lee Hwan Yun from the Republic of Korea, Rusty Smith from the United States of America. Here's the uh, Korean, Lee Yun Hwan. That's uh, Michael Antonioli from Italy. And uh, and Yu Long from China in there as well. He's right up against the boards. Well, this was the uh, first round of the championships. And uh, valuable points at stake here. And Yu Long for China in fourth place at the moment. Silver medalist in the 500 meters in the Winter Olympics. In the lead, it's uh, Maya Tamura, fifth in the 1,000 meters at the Olympics. The Italian there, Antonioli, ranked number 35 in the world. Just uh, making a move up the inside and uh, now taking up the running. A slow cat and mouse start to this race. Rusty Smith for the United States of America, ranked uh, number 17 in the world at the back of the pack at the moment. Over the the Canadian, in fourth place. He's uh, ranked ninth in the world at uh, the 500 meters, 18 overall. So uh, three semi-finals in the 1500 meters, and uh, two skaters making it through into the finals from each of the semi-finals. And there a move from uh, Tamura. And just uh, looking back, Mark Gagnon was the silver medalist last year with uh, Dong Sung Kim, the defending champion. Both skaters going in the next semi-final. Satoru Toreo going in the last of the semi-finals. Finished in third place last year. Things hotting up now with uh, Antonioli taking a fall there. So uh, holding on to the lead, it's uh, Tamura. And uh, Michael Antonioli trying to go with the pace and uh, just losing out as uh, An Yu Long now for China takes up the running. Eric Bedar for Canada in third place at the moment. Rusty Smith still at the back, unable to make any impression on this field. Lee Yun Huan. The Korean now looking to make his move with two laps to go around the outside. So at the bell, still out in front, it's An Yu Long for China with uh, Tamura for Japan in second place. Remember, two go through into the finals. The Korean makes a move up the inside, but uh, it is An Yu Long that wins with a time of uh, 2 minutes 27.302 with uh, Nioya Tamura for Japan in second place just about five one hundredths of a second behind him and uh, Lee Yun Huan for Korea in third place a little disappointment for Antonioli there falling no place for him in the finals there's the fall the weight just a little bit too far back on the skates and uh, right. if you can have a lucky fall that was a lucky one Eric Bedar finishing in fourth place with Rusty Smith in fifth. So a very well run race by An Yu Long and uh, Tamura. Lee Hyun Won just left himself with a little bit too much to do. What a way to celebrate there for. Tamura, but that was once he crossed the line. So we move on now to uh, the second semi-final in here. Nicky Gooch for Great Britain, wearing number 39. Mark Gagnon, three times winner of this uh, world title. Kim Dong Sun for Korea, the defending champion. There he is. Kai Feng for China the world record holder at this distance ranked number five in the world and uh, for Australia Richard Gurlitz and uh, Nicola Francescina for Italy Francescina on the inside there
So they line up Nicky Gooch in the black strip. Wearing number 39. Away they go. This is the second semi-final. And uh, once more, two skaters make it through into the final. Straight out in front is Marc Gagnon with uh, Frances Gina for Italy in second place. Dong Sung Kim in third with the Australian Gorelitz in fourth. Nicky Gooch in fifth place with China's Kai Feng at the back of the moment. Just keeping himself out of trouble and uh, keeping his eye on the rest of the field. And now makes a move very slowly up the inside into fourth place. Gooch now at the back and uh, very, very experienced. Nicky Gooch may remember won a bronze medal in the 94 Olympics in the 500 meters. Now winner of the uh, British title five times. Well, the European champion. And now it's Kai Feng out in front. So Kai Feng for China now leading. Mark Gagnon for Canada in second place, but nothing between them. Gurulitz for Australia in third. But uh, keep your eye on the Korean. Kim Dong Sung. Just uh, at the back at the moment, but uh, perhaps waiting to pounce. Remember this, the uh, opening round of the championships. Action from Friday. We've got uh, live coverage of the men's and ladies 1,000 meter finals coming up very shortly. And now the uh, Australian makes his move. But uh, Mark Gagnon responding well there and uh, a faller and that's uh, Richard Goodelitz for Australia down and out. And Mark Gagnon with uh, quite a lead here. Nicky Gooch up into second place. Remember two to qualify. But uh, Kim Dong-sung hot on his heels. So a lap and a half to go now. Nicky Gooch for Great Britain in second place. Mark Gagnon, three times winner of the title. Silver medalist last year leading this one. Nicky Gooch in second place, looking for a place into the finals. The Korean with a good final bend, and the Korean just about gets there. Well, brilliant stuff from Mark Gagnon for Canada. He made it look very, very easy indeed. Nicky Gooch must have, must have thought that he'd done enough there. Losing out by uh, just over two one-hundredths of a second to Kim Dong-sung from Korea. So no place in the finals for Nicky Gooch for Great Britain. Kai Feng there, the world record holder down in fourth place. Well, an excellent race from Nicky Gooch, but uh, not good enough. He'll be disappointed with that. So, into the finals so far. And you long for China. Noya Tamura for Japan. Mark Gagnon, last year's silver medalist, looking to regain the title. And Kim Dong-sung. So the third semi-final. This is the last of the semi-finals. Two skaters again through to the finals. It'll be a six-skater final, and there, down and out, goes uh, Richard Gurulitz, and uh, arms in the air. And it is, in fact, a disqualification for Francis Cina from Italy. So that's the lineup for the next semi final. Fabio Carter, European champion. Che Ji Hoon for the Republic of Korea, the 1994 Olympic champion at 500 meters, second in the 1000 meters. Satoru Turao from Japan, ranked number two in the world. Stephen Bradbury from Australia, ranked number 22 in the world, but a tremendous competitor, no doubt about that. Juan Yi for China and Francois de Rollet from Canada ranked uh, 19th in the world in the 1000 meters 24th overall so the skaters now line up 
We can just hear the confirmation of that disqualification for Frances Cina from Italy in the previous race. So the six skaters line up again. Keep your eye on Fabio Carter on that inside. A very, very exciting skater to watch. He has an incredible turn of speed. Fantastic acceleration. It's uh, Fabio Carter dictating the pace here. Che Ji Hoon in second place. Satoru Toreo for Japan in third at the moment. Francois de for Canada in fourth place. Bradbury in fifth, and at the back of the moment, it's uh, Juan Yi for China. And we'll move there from Bradbury. Bradbury taking up the running, deciding that the pace is just a little bit too slow so Stephen Bradbury now taking up the running but uh, Drolet having none of that so uh, Francois Drolet now leading with Satoru Toreo for Japan in second place the Korean having a look Chae Ji-hoon just uh, rubbing shoulders with Toreo but uh, still down in third place Carter there just taking a look down the outside going into the bend nips inside of uh, Stephen Bradbury and uh, gets himself up into fourth place so into the middle of the pack now Che Ji Hoon makes a move and uh, starts to speed things up so uh, Ji Hoon for Korea leading Thoreau for Japan in second place Francois de Rollet for Canada in third at the moment There's one E right at the back of the pack. And, uh, he could find himself in trouble if he doesn't make a move soon. So uh, things really starting to hot up at the front now. And down goes Francois Drolet for Canada. So out in front is the Korean Che Ji Hoon leading. Toreo in hot pursuit. Fabio Carter makes a move up the inside. Look at that turn of speed. Three crossovers and he's right back up and in contention. Really uses the exit of the corners to get all of his speed into the final lap now Fabio Carter for Italy leading with uh, Che Ji Hoon for Korea in second place Toreo for Japan making a move around the outside and quick out of that final bend he just gets there so Fabio Carter for Italy wins that one with Satoru Toreo for Japan in second place they join Mark Gagnon, Dong Sung Kim and An Yulong and Noya Tamura from the previous rounds very very exciting indeed we'll see the finals of the 1500 meters a little bit later on but back to the live action now so you rejoin us live now with the uh, finals of the ladies 1000 meters that's uh, yang yang a so an introduction of the skaters skating for valuable championship points five points for a win three for second two for third one for fourth there's Lee Kyung Chun for the Republic of Korea Chun lying in equal seventh place former world record holder semi-finalist in the 500 meters finalist in the 1500 meters there's Yoon Mi Kim for the Republic of Korea Kim lying in sixth place fourth in the 1500 meters ranked seventh in the world in the 1000 meters and there Yang 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 lying in tenth place semi-finalist in the 1500 meters silver medal winner in the 500 meters in Nagano the finals of the ladies 1000 meters This is pretty sure to be a cat and mouse game. There's no doubt about that. It's uh, Chun Li Kyung for the Republic of Korea leading and uh, going off pretty fast. In hot pursuit is Yang Yang S, number 20. Well, this is a commentator's nightmare, I've got to tell you. Chun 
for the Republic of Korea still out in front and uh, a change in the lead there well it's pretty much all over the place the Chinese now working as a team and it's Yang Yang S now that leads with Yang Yang A in second place so the two Yang Yangs dictating the pace here in the finals of the 1000 meters remember championship points at stake still Yang Yang S leading and a move now from Yoon Mi Kim for the Republic of Korea she moves up into the lead now Kim leading for Korea Yang Yang A trying to make a move but uh, Yang Yang S is uh, completely out of it and looks to have hurt herself so two laps to go and uh, Yang Yang makes a move the Koreans unable to respond so one lap to go Yang Yang A leading the two Koreans in hot pursuit but I think it's going to be Yang Yang A that gets there Yang Yang wins this one five points for Yang Yang it's close at the end very very exciting indeed so that's Yang Yang A winning that one five points for her very very close at the end Lee Kyung Chun there really trying to get up in contention and it couldn't have been close you could see the lunge there for the line so Lee Kyung Chun finishing in second Yun Mi Kim in third and Yang Yang S who'd made much of the early running finishes down in fourth place just uh, got pushed out of contention very very exciting indeed so Yang Yang A now has 10 championship points and uh, by my reckoning that has her at the top of the championship table Yang Yang A leading good team spirit from the Chinese team the Korean Lee Kyung Chun picking up three points there two for Yun Mi Kim and a point for Yang Yang S well that's the lineup for the finals of the men's 1000 meters Fabio Carter there the European champion so two Italians in here Fabio Carter and uh, Michael Antonioli Mark Gagnon silver medalist last year and Satoru Toreo quick shake of the hands there from the two Italians there's Gagnon in the background as always uh, Fabio Carter very quick to their line so here we go the skaters in the men's 1000 meters this is the penultimate distance in this world short track speed skating championships from Vienna so there he is Fabio Carter European champion what can he do here Carter in good form Carter lying in third place there Mark Gagnon the leader or joint leader should I say of the championships with Kai Feng remember Feng not in the finals here that will prove crucial the director not sure which way to go that's Satoru Toreo Toreo lying in seventh place with his fourth placing in the 1500 meters and uh, Michael Antonioli the Italian he's done well to make it through to these finals Antonioli lying down in 16th place So quickly away there and Fabio Carter it is that uh, goes straight down in front Mark Gagnon right up on his shoulder though Gagnon just uh, 
Taking a look, doesn't want to take up the running. Fabio Carter egging him on, slips in behind, and uh, so Marc Gagnon in the lead. Fabio Carter in second place. Satoru so Torao for Japan in third, and uh, the second of the Italians here, Michael Antonioli at the back. Carter now back into third place. Gagnon in second, Torao for Japan. Now takes up the running. Gagnon nips back in front once more. And uh, this quite a sedate pace, so you'd expect it to be very, very exciting at the end. Fabio Carter now moves in front. A little bit too slow for him. Glances over his left shoulder, sees Mark Gagnon moving again. Gagnon now back in the lead. And Antonioli taking a look. He's at the back of the pack at the moment. Doesn't want to lose too much ground to these three. Carter still out in front. Mark Gagnon in second place. Torreo makes a move with three laps to go. Torreo in second place. Carter just uh, hanging on in there and still keeping his nose ahead. Gagnon really trying to make up the running. Torreo taking a look inside. So now it's Carter, Torreo and Gagnon in third place at the bell. Gagnon with a tremendous turn of speed up into second place. He's got the line for the final corner. Gagnon, it's going to be Gagnon that gets there. Torreo gets... Well, Oh, that was close. Torreo on the inside may well have got his foot in front. It couldn't have been more exciting on that final lap. Gagnon looked to have made all the running in the final corner, but Torreo up the inside had the lunge, and I think he got there. Well, we'll look at it again. It couldn't have been closer. Look at Torreo looking for a gap going into the final bend. Gagnon's got the line. Nips inside of Fabio Carter. He's pushed wide. Torreo up the inside. Watch the skates as they pass the line. Well, it was close, there's no doubt about it. Gagnon may have lunged too early. No, Gagnon gets there. Gagnon made it. Torreo in second place and uh, 5.9 for artistic impression for Fabio Carter as he crossed the line. Well, that was uh, very, very exciting indeed. Torreo in second place, but the closest of margins and uh, well, you have to feel for Fabio Carter. He thought he'd done everything right. And there a look at just how close it was. Literally nothing between first and second place, but uh, two valuable championship points. So Gagnon wins. He increases his lead in these championships. Mark Gagnon, five championship points for him. Satoru Torao picks up three points here. Fabio Carter with two points and a point for Michael Antonioli. Well, we're gonna catch our breath again here and uh, settle down while the ice is prepared for the uh, 3,000 meters, the final distance for the individual races. And uh, let's hope it's as exciting as that was. Brilliant stuff. Well, uh, while the ice is prepared, we're going to go back over to Sports Centre, catch up with all the latest sporting news.